Yes. It is so nice to be back in the sweet arms of this <laughs> show. <laughs> I got to tell you, thank you so much for watching last week with Sarah Quinn. What a great guest she was. Yeah. Oh my God. She is a fox, is what she is. She's a real live human lady fox. <laughs> And speaking of foxes, we've got Kate Menning today. Yay! How cool is that? You might know her from such shows as The L Word, Ray Donovan, and 99% of your fantasies. <laughs> you know, a lot has changed since we last did the show in 2010. A lot of progress has been made in this country. For example, gay people can get married legally now, which is amazing. And also, gay people can serve openly in the military, which seems crazy that they weren't able to do that five years ago. Isn't that crazy? Mm -hmm. So when we last did the show, if you were in the military and you were a gay person, you were not allowed to tell anybody. But now you can be like, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> I am here, I am queer, and I've got a <laughs> newsie. <laughs> so we have made a lot of progress. And then what's the opposite of progress? Oh yeah, it's um, Texas, Arizona, <laughs> Oklahoma, Louisiana, Alabama, Mississippi, and South Carolina. You suck. <laughs> because in those states, they have laws called no promo homo or don't say gay. That means in those states, teachers are prohibited from teaching anything positive at all about LBGTQ people or history or topics. They can't say anything about gay people, about trans people, about any queer people at all. They are prohibited. Which means if you're a kid and you live in those states and you're gay, you're not gonna learn anything, but there is this thing called Google. <laughs> <laughs> and Google Images, which is, you should really, it, it start with the information first. <laughs> and then maybe move on to the images, and then also, there are videos <laughs> that they can't teach in any classroom, in any state. But you'll learn a lot. <laughs> They're really good. I'm in some of them. <laughs> I'm just saying, when I was in high school, I came out to one person, a teacher. And why did I do that? Because I felt comfortable talking to her. Because she promoted positive images and education about LGBTQ people. That's why I did that. That, and I thought she was gay. <laughs> because she had short hair and a strong face. <laughs> Turns out she just, she wasn't. She just was from Connecticut. <laughs> I like to think of this show as so promo homo. We are your friend, we are your ally, we are solo promo homo. And as you can tell from our um, production value, we are also pro bono homo. <laughs> and if those dicks won't educate you about it, I will. Like did you know, for a hemp low, <laughs> that Abraham Lincoln, the 16th president of the United States, shared a bed with a man for four years? I, yeah, just, I, ch take your phones out. Google, <laughs> Google Lincoln shared. The very first thing that comes up is bed with man. <laughs> because he really did. There was a guy named Joshua Speed. They were tight as night. And <laughs> they shared a bed together for four years. He could have slept on the floor. He could have slept on like a mat in the other room. What two straight guys do you know that go, no, oh, yeah, I'm gonna share the bed with you. I'll share the bed with you. That sounds right. I'm seven foot five. I'm gonna share this twin bed with you. <laughs> Abraham Lincoln, more like Abraham Lincoln. Because underneath that big top hat was a tiny little gay hat tilted just so to the side. <laughs> Abraham Lincoln, he's your gay of the day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And now, my side geek and best les, please welcome Remy Rosendale! <laughs> okay, just don't, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yep. Got it. I'm yeah. here. There's some. I did it. There's still some stuff to finesse. Let's go. Let's go. Hi. 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 You good? Let me. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. You got it. Look at I'm you. What? Look at her. Yeah. Yeah. What? I, they're not giving yeah. you as much as you deserve. They, Ow. Thank you. Ow. You know why? Because it's yeah. just a bunch of gay men and married <laughs> women. <laughs> That's like the story of my life. They're like I think it's attractive. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I like a red lip, but not in this way. <laughs> Buddy, welcome back to the show. Thank you for having me again. You look like a foxy, gorgeous oh. woman. Yeah. Yes, there we go. She looks, come 
Yeah, look at this. Just a little red lipstick. It's just a little, little red lip. Well, it's really making me attracted to you. <laughs> Where is that buzzer? <laughs> <laughs> I took it away from her. <laughs> yeah, I felt that it was impeding my comic stylings. <laughs> just kidding. She's laughing. That was her laughing. <laughs> Guys, I'm married. I'm married. So don't. <laughs> Buddy, did you know that Lincoln was gay? No! How f crazy is that? I, that is crazy. I had no idea. <laughs> and not only, not only is that story true about him uh, sharing a bed with Joshua Speed Having for four a years. Having fellow? Yeah. Uh. Look, at this. Look at this. Wow. That, I don't know if they were sad about that. Or <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Puns really depress my audience. <laughs> I really apologize about that. Uh, I, I thought that was amazing. And then Jason did some research, and it turns out there's a, what's his name? Captain David Derrickson. So there's a guy named Captain David Derrickson. When Mary Todd would go away, mm -hmm. Abraham would spend the night at Captain David Derrickson's house. <laughs> David Derrickson sounds like a gay porn star. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does. And, and, and David Derrickson was then seen wearing Abraham's nightshirt, and you knew that it was his nightshirt because it went all the way to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> so tall. That's amazing. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, that's that's bizarre. I just that's a piece of American history you don't you don't get to you hear don't get about, to hear, especially yeah. if you live in Alabama, Texas, South Carolina, Louisiana, and the other one I forgot. Alaska, o Oklahoma. Oklahoma, Oklahoma. No, Alaska. Oklahoma. Don't you'd think. Don't bring Ala Alaska. Has, gay marriage is legal in Alaska. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. How about that? I should probably move to Alaska. You think so? Maybe I'll find a wife in Alaska. I think it's. I think you're too like you're too Jewy for Alaska. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be like, I just. Is there anywhere I can get a smoked fish? <laughs> there are, actually, actually, there probably there's probably, probably a lot of smoked fish around. Yeah. Yeah. I need a bagel. Yeah. For some reason, this is you when you're cold. <laughs> <laughs> I need a bagel like a mint with like a mink stall. Yeah, of course you have a mink, a, yeah. a, a faux mink. Fo Relax. Pink. <laughs> Pink. So, uh, do you have any great music suggestions, as always, for I us today? I do. What? I want to talk to you guys about a band called The Dodos. That's their name. That is their name. That's adorable. That's adorable. Yeah. Um, yeah, these guys have, are from San Francisco. They've been around for 10 years. This is their sixth album. The album's okay. called Individ. It just came out. A every song on here is wonderful. And uh, yeah, you should go out and buy it. Listen to it on Spotify, then go out and buy the album. The album comes with a digital download card. Um, and they're on tour right now. So go see them. Go buy merch. Go buy the album. Support the artist. Support the artist. I'm married to a musician now, so I know how important that is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and how do you know if you're uh, holding this the right side up? Oh, because the, the title's on the top here. Well, no, no, no. Otherwise, <laughs> but I have to think about that for a second. <laughs> no, that's really cool. I really this like looks that. Like, I don't, you know, the, this is either Sisyphus or Atlas. I yeah, can't tell I was, one was, or the other. Totally, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's um, Sisyphus, Sisyphus rolls the boulder up uphill up and, up. and lets it roll back down, <laughs> and Atlas so carries, carries the world on her shoulders. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is there anything else you want to tell the people? Oh, yeah. If you want to follow the music that I'm listening to, just follow me on Twitter. That's down there. Are, right here. Right. And uh, that's it. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you so much for being here. Thanks, buddy. Amy Rosenthal. Okay, seriously, you're going to want to you're going to want to sit down. You might want to lay down. You might want to pull up a blanket. <laughs> and hide what you're doing with your hand. <laughs> because one of your all-time favorite guests is coming out on the show. I know she's one of my all-time favorites. I mean, you loved her in Sense and Sensibility. <laughs> you read all of her Twilight novels. <laughs> sure, you might have seen her on The L Word. Whatever, NBD. More importantly, she now stars as Lena on Ray Donovan on Showtime. She's the woman of all of our dreams. Please welcome Kate Menig. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh. Kate, welcome to the show. Well, ha thanks for having me back. Oh my god. You look amazing, obviously. You look very dapper yourself. Well, don't hit on me. I really like this. Oh. <laughs> Do you? Is this mm -hmm. nice? Now look, we, we've been friends now for many years. I know. We, we did actually pretty much meet and, and, and um, you know, fall in love working on this show. <laughs> um, and, um, we did. Right? I mean, we, yeah. And, and obviously, I'm now married to the love of my life. I couldn't be happier. But um, you can't deny that there's something still between us. I won't deny it. <laughs> <laughs> Is this it's, awkward for everybody? 
is it? It's still it's still there. It is. I know. What do you you know? Like sometimes these things just don't go away. You know, it's it's this unrequited. Yeah, 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 energy. yeah, 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 it's required. Um, <laughs> <laughs> now, it's so nice to have you back, and I also just want you to know that it's so much because of you that this show became popular. No. Yes. No, 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 no. For seriousness. No, no, no. Yes. You had, Tegan, you had Tegan and Sarah. Well, they helped too, but no. You had you, a good, you had a good. Listen, nothing against Tegan and Sarah. I love them. They're also some of my favorite guests I've ever had on the show. But one interview that we did alone on YouTube has half a million hits. Get out of I here. swear to G <laughs> slash D. Really? Yes. One interview, half a million hits, and I'm gonna be honest, they were not watching for me. <laughs> you don't know that. Well, I don't. You but don't I, know can, that. I can. I can. I understand you don't know humanity. That. You don't. Oh, stop it. Oh, by the way, I wanted to tell you, um, my mom. Oh my God, your mom. Oh, what a dreamboat. Okay, yeah. <laughs> no, your mom. Her mom is amazing. I recently got to meet your mom. You did. And we just, I mean, we just I hit think, it off. Well, she fell, I think she fell a little in love with you. Really? Yeah. So it runs in the family. <laughs> <laughs> Apple doesn't far fall, fall far from the tree. What can I say? Your mom is amazing. Her name is Mary. And I just, like, as soon as I met her, I was like, I love you. I want to be near you. But she wanted me to tell you that she's very excited about your show. Really? Yeah. That's so and sweet. she wanted me to let you know that it's on St. Patrick's Day. It is on St. Patrick's <laughs> Day. I know. I know. She wanted me to let you know that it was on St. Patrick's I'm Day because she didn't think that you would know that. Of course I know that. No, I know. One Big Happy premieres March 17th on St. Patrick's yes. Day on NBC 930. Yes. And your mom is like the super amazing Irish woman. And yes. of course she was like, that's St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yep. I'm excited for the show, but I'm conflicted. <laughs> yep. No, your mom is incredible. I really, really loved meeting her. It really like rounded out my whole like friendship with you. I thought, oh, like, I think that's cute. It was really Sweet. cute. It I was like really that. cute. We've like been that. we've been emailing, so just yeah. Email. She said you sent her a photo. I did. And then she lost it. So if you could resend it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. I mean, I don't lose things that mean something to me, but well. that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> you were obviously amazing on the L Word. Everyone loves you from that. You got a huge following from that. And I know that because every time I post a picture of you on Instagram, it gets like so many likes. It's unbelievable. You have like over a thousand likes. I took a picture with Oprah. It got like 600 likes. You're hugely popular with the lesbian community. It's unbelievable. Still. Still. <laughs> <laughs> Because now you're playing a lesbian named Lena on Ray Donovan. True, but on that show, it's not a sexualized character. No, not enough. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Will you will you be getting a love interest on that show? I think so. Yeah. I hope so. I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic. Okay. And will you? Um, do you think that you'll be able that you like? Are you gonna have sex on that person? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> that's usually that's usually what happens. But again, yeah. I don't know what's going on. I haven't I haven't I haven't seen you haven't you don't have seen all the scripts yet. No. But you're you're shooting right now. Presently, yeah. That's really cool. And I, I love the show, and you're fantastic on it. And and what I loved was there was one uh, there was one scene where you got to punch a woman in the face. I got to do it twice. You had to do it twice. I watched the show. <laughs> I watched the show. I know you do it twice. You did it twice? I asked to do it again. <laughs> you asked to do it again because yeah. that first time you punched her in the face, it was like literally I like like <laughs> jumped up from my couch. I was like, that was the coolest thing I've it's ever fun seen. To, it's fun to do. Is it? Oh yeah. Punch me. No. <laughs> <laughs> the guy, you sure? No, 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 no. Because I would, I'll take it. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. No, not in this beautiful suit. Oh, no. aren't you? You just oh, stop. It. Stop touching me. Stop. <laughs> my wife is right there. I know, and I have great respect for your wife, and she's a dear friend. So, mm -hmm. don't you worry. Okay, why are you playing footsie with me under the I'm table? I'm not playing footsie. <laughs> <laughs> don't cause trouble. Okay, well, then don't play footsie with me I'm under not the table. Playing footsie. <laughs> okay. Hey, listen, I'm keeping the boundary very clean. Yes, Stop no. Trying to, no, I this don't. It's not on me, Rachel. It's not on. <laughs> so you know. <laughs> she doesn't have a buzzer today. So. Oh, no? Nope. Mm -mm. Oh. So, if it gets out of hand, it gets out of hand. <laughs> <laughs> so, I always like to do something fun with my guests on the show, and we can't because I'm married. <laughs> um, and you know we're past that. So um, and I would play um, I would play who's gayer with you, but um, I don't stand a chance. No. <laughs> so, um, you ride motorcycles. You box. Mm -hmm. You fish. What butch thing can't you do? Uh, <laughs> oh. Oh, 
I clean very well. You do. That's true. That's true. That's, um, not, uh, that's not like a like a technically butch thing. No, to do. I'm very good at it. You are really good at it. Um, and what else? Like, what else would surprise people about you? I think I'm a pretty good cook. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm a good cook. You are. A good I think cook. I'm a well balanced in that. I can cook. You are. Yeah. Uh, would you cook something for us today? Happily. Really. You guys, welcome to our new segment, Cooking with Kate. <laughs> All right. So today, uh, what are you going to teach me how to make? Um, you're going to learn to make a beer can chicken. Beer can chicken. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, let's get started. Okay. How um, do we do this? Well, it's always good to have a partner. Tell me about it. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, one of us can be salmonella hands. The other one's going to be yeah, yeah. sterile hands. Okay. Me. You want to be sterile? Sure. So I'll be a salmonella? Right. Okay. So. That sounds great. What you want to do is, you want to make sure all the giblets are out. I'm sorry? <laughs> These, the giblets. Okay. <laughs> Yay. Oh, it feels real good, too. Does it? Yeah, yeah. Do you okay. look if there are women at home going, say it again? No. <laughs> <laughs> and then, okay, so who likes to drink? Yeah, I'll do it. Does anyone you want to? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Here, you open that. What do you, okay, so I need be careful to. With the, be careful with the salmonella hands. Okay. <laughs> Drink some of that. How much? Drink a uh, quarter of it halfway. Keep going. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Keep, come on, hit it. Hit it. <laughs> hit it. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is this how, how you treat all your? Yes. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right. How's that? Now a little bit more. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Can I be done now? Yeah, we could. <laughs> so then after you get Liz to drink half of your beer, thank God you have a can opener. You want to open up the beer can. You want to get the top off because oh, when you ram this up the chicken <laughs> you want all of like you the spices what? and the alcohol to like infuse cover, inside. I'm gonna cover the chicken's ears. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so you want to have uh, your can of beer halfway empty, and then you just want to dump a ton of spices. You want to do that? Yeah. All right. Put all these spices in there. In there? In there. In the beer. Yes. So I'm taking right now. I'm taking pepper. pepper. Dump the pepper in there. Oh, like a lot of it though. I should like really dump it in there. Yeah. I'm taking a dump um, <laughs> of pepper and I'm putting it in there, there like that. And then do okay. it with this. And then I'm gonna dump. No, 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 no. And then take this top. I don't cook. So. This is <laughs> and then take that off. Come on, hammer it. <laughs> Can we isolate the audio on this? <laughs> <laughs> You're making a mess. You're making a mess. Yeah, that's what I do. Ask but Rachel. you know the, the number one the number one rule with a good cook is a clean kitchen. Right. Okay. Now, <laughs> garlic salt garlic and paprika. Salt? Wait, why am I doing this? You're supposed to be teaching me how to do this. Okay, well, I am teaching you how to do salt. it. It's by there is the garlic salt. Okay. Okay. And then a little right. paprika. Was I a little heavy handed with a little the bit, garlic salt? A little bit. Here's it's okay. Paprika. Paprika. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good. Okay. Uh -huh. And then. <laughs> <laughs> now, do me a favor. Yeah. Pepper, <laughs> dump it in there. Pepper, dump it in there. Yeah. <laughs> Salt. No, no, yeah. No, 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 no. no that. All right. Get, can you focus? What? Focus. <laughs> Get it right in the hole. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what she said. <laughs> she is you. Yeah. <laughs> Need that brown sugar, please? Yeah. A little bit of brown sugar. I'm not, doing no, no, all no. the work. No, you're not. But you have clean hands and I have dirty hands. Oh, yeah. I'm so how much, how much brown sugar? Just, just a smidge. Like that? Yeah, that's good. That's good. Sure. Oh. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Drop it in. Drop it in. This would be hot if it wasn't so disgusting. <laughs> all right, so then once you get all the spices in there, after Liz puts it in your bird, then <laughs> <laughs> massage this is it in. So much dirtier than I even intentionally meant it to be. Dirty minds. All of you have dirty minds. Dude, you have your hand up a chicken's butt. <laughs> you asked me to show you how to make a beer can chicken. That's right, because I knew the, that this is what would But this would is happen. what you do. You do this with a roasted chicken. You do this with like any kind of chicken. You with do. <laughs> I can't believe this is going to air. <laughs> can you cut me some pieces of butter and we're going to stick it under the skin? Oh, we're putting butter under Just the a little skin bit. Like no, that? no, no, hold on, hold on. Oh, oh my God. I can't do anything. Right? <laughs> you put butter inside of, and then you massage it in underneath the skin because then it'll it'll get crispy. You don't want to do too much, otherwise it's Guys, I didn't even know it was going to be like this good. I really didn't. <laughs> 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 
Is, it, match, is it matching up to all your dreams? Well, it's like I've seen you have sex on the L word. Oh. And this is better. <laughs> <laughs> because it's chicken. And your and your finger. Do me a favor, but don't judge me on either. No, I wouldn't. I really wouldn't. I wouldn't. I know you're just a like a like a normal human being <coughs> who f**ks chickens. <laughs> <laughs> so, do me a favor. Yes. Can you get all these spices and put them on the outside of the You're bar? sure you want me to do that? <laughs> okay. Damn right. Here we go. Okay. But, do, but, 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 but conservatively. But just because the love is in the details, okay? That's really mm -hmm. sweet. It is the truth. Love okay. Is in the details. So I'll be more nice. <laughs> Like that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep, 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 that's what I'm talking okay. about. Okay. Okay. Now we've seasoned the outside of the chicken. Exactly. So, and we have to do the other side actually when we put it upright. Pardon? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you think that thing's going to be able to stand? Yes. <laughs> well, okay. This is the fun part. So now we're going to put this can up the ass of this chicken. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So do me a favor. If anything, make sure that doesn't tip over. That's yes, ma'am. Yes, right? ma'am. Yes. You got it. Let's do this. All right. So that you want to make sure. Whoa. Oh. Boom. And there's your chicken. Whoa. O M G's. O M G's. And then we have to season this side. Wait, hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> I can't just get back. Why are we calling this beer can chicken? That should be called butthole chicken. <laughs> you know, the entire chicken is seasoned on the inside and on the outside, and it's sitting with the can up its butt. <laughs> and it's going to taste amazing. Is so it really? Yeah. So you put it, you, you... You've had this at my house before. I have. It's delicious. That's the, right? Yeah, absolutely. And, and so you preheat the oven to 350. Uh, yeah, my thing is 350, 20 minutes per pound. How many pounds is this? Four? So 20, 40, oh, whatever, do the math. What is it now? So it's 20 minutes per go. pound, it's four pounds, so it's gonna take six hours to bake. Yeah. <laughs> well, so I this try. is beer can chicken. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much for teaching me how to make that. You are so welcome. Can I get a hug? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. We're gonna wash our hands and be right back. And that was cooking with Kate. <laughs> Not so hard, right? No, it was it's not, not very hard. hard. No, it was it was uh, it was dirty. Yes. Uh, in a good way. Um, yes. And uh, I won't soon forget it. Nope. I will remember it for the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> um, that was amazing. Thank you so much for doing that. Thanks so You're much for welcome. coming onto the show. Thank you for having and me. And I'll see you again real soon. Absolutely. Let's hear it for Kate Meg. <laughs> All right, buddy. Hey, you guys, that's our show. Thanks so much to Kate Menick for being here and teaching me how to make butthole chicken. <laughs> <laughs> and guess what? It turned out delicious. Look at this. It was delicious. Nice. It was a little peppery. <laughs> <laughs> and that's on me. That's on me. Join us next week when we have a very awesome, special surprise guest who is beautiful and talented. And I think you're going to like it. It's going to be great. It's fun. <laughs> also, please keep in touch with us on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. And uh, don't forget to watch One Big Happy premiering March 17th, 9.30 on NBC. That is in the future or in the past, depending on when you're watching this video. <laughs> so thanks so much for watching. I'm Liz Feldman, and as always, you are so gay. <laughs> I mean, your mom is an incredible history. She was a chorus girl. No, she would take offense to that. <laughs> <laughs> what was she? A Broadway dancer. Hi, Mary. <laughs> Do you even remember? Do you remember kissing me? I did not kiss you. You did. I've got photo evidence. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. She's going to take over all of your city. So get ready and use your noggin. Liz Feldman in the house. Start vlogging. Hey, that's our show. Thanks so much for Kate Menig. Nope. Hey. <laughs> it's been hours. Uh, <laughs> Love you, bud. Love you too, buddy. <sighs> really? Just nobody wants to help her? <laughs>